On the 8th of January, and after 14 days of rigorous fighting over in the Middle East, in particularly in Gaza between the Palestinians and Israelis, Arab Americans marched down to downtown Detroit to condemn the Israeli aggression on Gaza. So did some supporters for Israel to support Israel in its war against the Stripe of Gaza. to the uh, president-elect that we want peace, we want justice, we want peace in the Middle East. We do not want to have peace on the uh, 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 bones of the Palestinian children. It has to be peace with justice. It means that peace with a Palestinian viable state, and it needs to be done immediately. No more promises. George Bush is a liar. He lied to the, to the, to the American people, to the world. He lied on two occasions at least. One when he invaded Iraq and he said there's weapons of mass destruction, they're the biggest lie in the history of the, of the world. And the other one, the other lie is when he lied to the world and to the Palestinian people. And he said, we will have a Palestinian state by the end of the presidency. What happened at the end of his presidency? More war, more destruction, more killing. Thank you, Mr. Hassan. Thank you.
So I think as an ethical person, I had to be here. Now, what do you think the uh, upcoming U.S. administration can do for this uh, question, or can do this about this war? Well, I'll tell you, I, uh, I was really happy to see uh, Obama win, but in terms of him breaking fundamentally with this whole system of imperial, U.S. imperial domination of other regions, I'm not very hopeful. What it really takes is a mass movement of people in this country to say we're not going to keep supporting this aggression, these uh, dictatorial regimes. And so for Obama, I'm not that uh, hopeful. For a mass movement of people, a lot more hopeful. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Good luck. Oh, here, too. Okay. She's in.